The purpose of this video is to document the process and have it available to me for future reference so I can keep a timeline. I thought it would be easier to access and upload rather than use my hard drive. On the left is how the root system looked on day one as she was being removed from soil. Since I do not do soil grows, she was never intended for a full grow out. She was more like a sacrificial plant to help me design and develop my air atomizing aeroponics garden. That being said, just keep in mind keyword development. My initial choice of trying to use an airbrush was a disaster. Simply put, it didn't have the capacity I needed. It came at a cost of one compressor motor and one week wasted chasing down the issue. In this process, I nearly killed my tester plant. In the next clip is the damage I caused to the roots. It's very clear that root rot is occurring. Knowing what aeroponics is capable of, I decided to push forward and see if I can bring this plant back. I didn't feel like killing a good clone, and I got a lot to learn before the system's actually dialed in. With AA, it's really difficult to get any clean footage since there's usually mist floating around the chamber at all times. I tried to get footage from different times, but nothing seemed to work well. As bad as these roots look, some of it has to do with the lighting, as you can see here. Day 7, the roots started developing feed roots, aka fish bones. Also, the brown coloring has begun to fade. Day 8, since I had to change the reservoir, I decided to take a closer look. At this point, I was very confident she'll be fine. Progress is being made daily. It's just a matter of time before her roots catch up and she really takes off. Day 10. This was very reassuring to see. Her roots have grown significantly and the brown coloring is diminishing by the day. Days 11 and 12 side by side. It's easy to see the progress she's making. The feed roots are really starting to develop now. It's to the point to where I'm currently testing the feed cycles in hopes I can optimize her health and rate of growth. The once nearly dead root rot plant is making a strong comeback. I'm looking forward to seeing how she'll do once I figure out the optimum feed cycle. 